Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. A new day will dawn on us from above because our God is loving and merciful. May the Lord guide you along your way and may the Lord bless you for the holy morning and the holy day. As children of God, we can find joy in every day, not because life is always so good, but because God is. Today, let us share with you some words from Father Michel Rodrigue, telling people about the coming events of the world in the summer that is going to approach. As these events are believed to provoke a series of fulfilling end-times prophecies, may this message help to unfold what will change the destiny of humanity. Before we proceed to the core of the message, may you not forget to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel so as to be able to access the latest messages from above. Stay with us and listen to this video until the very end. God has a blessing with your name on it. Type Amen if you believe so and recite the short prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, today, I surrender to you my heart. Help me to be your instrument in the world. Cover me with the precious blood of your divine Son. Guard me against all evil. Protect me from any evil plan Satan may have for me today. Clothe me in your divine will. Every present moment offers a new choice, to sin or to choose salvation. I would train my free will to always choose to please you. Please await me in paradise. Amen. Here comes the words from Father Michel Rodrigue. Together, we listen to it and preserve the holiness of peace, which is beyond all insight and protects our heart, mind, and soul. Beloved children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, the Most Holy Trinity bestows its blessing upon you. And, you are being protected by the angelic legions. My dear people of God, we are currently passing a test. This summer, the world will witness the start of great events of purification. Be ready to defeat Satan and to defend our people with the help of the Rosary. That you are in a state of grace by seeing a Catholic priest to make your general confession. There will be a spiritual conflict. Keep these words in mind, great events of the end times are about to occur. Life will continue on after the devastating natural calamities of the spring. The summer months will create a time of peace for us to effectively get ready for the impending test being with Jesus at the cross. We cannot see the glorious cross without being presented to the cross with Jesus. You must now dedicate your home or flat to the Eternal Father via the Sacred Heart of Jesus and Mary. We must frequently bless our homes and residences with exorcist holy water. You must prepare a three-month supply of food and drinking water for this summer. You must have confessed publicly before autumn. Your solace, strength, and defense will come from the prayers of the Holy Rosary, Saint Michael the Archangel, and your guardian angels. Along with a global purification, famine, which is the consequence of natural disasters, diseases and war, is also coming. This was only recently presented to me by Jesus. I was in my room, and as I sat down to get ready for bed, I noticed a black cavalier approaching. The result is starvation. According to what I overheard, even though they would have the money to buy it, they would not have any bread. Giving away your money today will prevent it from disappearing when the entire financial system crashes. There will be a significant revolt. In your streets, revolution will be evident. There will be open fighting between people. The start of the war will coincide with the declaration of new law and a new government. The devil will launch a global nuclear conflict the third world war as part of his war against all people. Just as one third of the angels were expelled from heaven and sent to hell, 
the devil will kill one-third of humanity in this conflict as well as through diseases and abortion. The situation is critical. There will be a tribulation, and it will happen shortly. Our situation is critical. The Father granted me the fraternity and urged me to construct it fast because it would serve as a haven for numerous visiting priests. A large portion of what you will see has been planned by the devil. You'll witness people clashing with one another over political issues. Laws that are unlawful will lead to the persecution of Christians, which has already started on a personal level with jeers and accusations. Because you will be unable to abide by these regulations in good conscience, those who persecute you will be subject to civil law. Then the warning will come. I saw this. The stars, the sun, and the moon will not shine. All will be black. Suddenly in the heavens, a sign of Jesus will appear and light up the sky and the world. He will be on the cross, not in his suffering, but in his glory. Behind him in a pale light, we will appear the face of the Father, the true God. It will be something, I assure you. From the wounds in Jesus' hands, feet, and side, bright rays of love and mercy will fall onto the entire earth, and everything will stop. If you are in an airplane, it will stop. If you are riding in a car, don't worry the car will stop. If you ask me, how can that be? I will say, God is God. He is the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. If he put Father Michel out in the universe, like a piece of dust, do you think he cannot stop matter? Do you believe that your small airplane will bother him? No. This is what God told me, but he has also told such things to others, like at Garabandal, which Saint Padre Pio believed in. Everything will be fixed in time, and the flame of the Holy Spirit will enlighten every conscience on earth. The shining rays from Jesus' wounds will pierce every heart, like tongues of fire, and we will see ourselves as if in a mirror in front of us. We will see our souls, how precious they are to the Father, and the evil within each person will be revealed to us. It will be one of the greatest signs given to the world since the resurrection of Jesus Christ. As humanity, you are walking into the hands of evil, being subject to it. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, Continue without fear, not forgetting that you can repent until the last moment. Pray with your heart, bear in mind that the Holy Trinity will protect you and will not forsake you. Be human beings of sincere heart, work and act in peace. Do not be hasty, for the Most Holy Trinity holds everything that happens in their hand. This is the end of today's video. Thank you for watching and may God continue to shower us with his favors and blessings.